I'd like to call this workshop agenda of the City Council to order. Roll call. Mr. Bastelli? Here. Mr. Palom? Here. Mr. Sirianni? Here. Dr. Sally? Here. Mrs. Billings? Here. And I hereby certify this meeting has been published in the newspapers in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act and posted as required by law. Thank you. Uh, in addition to the four items that we have on our workshop, we will also be adding oceanfront traffic. Um, Mayor Schneider will be doing a presentation on that. Uh, we'll start with. Mr. Hayes, uh, discussion regarding parking prohibition on Marine Terrace and Ocean Terrace. I'm going to come right up to the big board, Madam President, if that's okay. Absolutely. So, at the request of the fire department, they asked us to look at um, access for emergency vehicles down Ocean Terrace and Marine Terrace. And what the traffic office came up with is what I have in blue is no parking on the north side of Ocean Terrace right off the boulevard and if there's a description in your packets I think it goes 130 feet to the end of the property line and then on Marine Terrace around the the uh, bottom of the curve it runs from the, the edge of uh, here all the way around to here so there'll be no parking on the south side of Marine and the north side of, of Ocean. I added the red marks at the corners because they're going to they're going to be marking off the, the, the statutory uh, requirements of no parking within 25 feet of an intersection or corner. So I just, I, we don't need an ordinance for that. That's a, that's a state statute. But just so you can see what we're trying to do. Um, we had a fire in uh, one of these buildings here um, last year and um, the, the access was, was really horrible. Um, and now that they're building on this corner, they're building that big multiple dwelling building um, and with the workers there, it's even worse. So what we're trying to do, and it's the, the, the only reason for this is for emergency vehicle access. It's really, it's really pretty simple. It's the north side of, of Ocean Terrace, the Boulevard in 130 feet, and the south side of Marine Terrace over here to allow emergency vehicles to access in and out of the site. So they can at this point. Yeah. Very difficult, and, and come the summertime, as you know, people park absolutely everywhere down there. It's virtually impossible in the middle of summer. So we're oh, trying to head it off. Where the um, the U part, the bottom here? No, the sides. How dangerous are they if they're parking on both sides? You mean it? No, go up the avenue. Up okay, top here? <coughs> are, you, are you talking about Ocean Terrace Council? No, Marine. Go around. This is Marine. Goes this way. Right on the sides of Marine. No, on the sides of Marine, we we can get through here and we can get through because we can also go down Grand Street for access. Okay. So they're okay with. Are that. there double side parking at that? Yeah, but there's some driveways here, so we have there's an uh, entrance here to the to, uh, this building at, at uh, Beachfront North, so there's no parking in, in up to here, so we have plenty of room to okay. swing around there. Because if we do no parking there, they're going to be filling in everything else. Yeah, they'll park everywhere that they legally can, and that's really what you want them to do. But they're going to delineate the 25 feet from the corners, which is you know okay. what we need to get around to to, to turn in there. And, 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 and you know that it was a big issue when that TDB application was coming forth, and we had talked about it then. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I wanted to try to get it done before the, the summer gets into full swing. Have they been notified yet? Oh, I, I don't know about no. that. No. I don't know about that. No. <coughs> okay. Oh, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Kevin, what, what, when you say difficult, can you um, describe what you mean by dis difficult and also can you give a scenario where you think this could be a very dangerous situation? Well, if you have cars parked um, on both sides of the street here, it'd be very difficult for the ladder truck to even make it onto Ocean Terrace to get through. Mm -hmm. we, we've had calls here where it is literally a couple of feet on either side, and sometimes it's tough to even make it down the street at all. So th this would give us a clear path to get down to Ocean Terrace. I mean, you know, God forbid we have to get there in an emergency to do our thing and the same on uh, Marine the same well. here yeah and, and 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 these folks have parking in front of their houses so we're not affecting that it's just giving us enough room to get to get around here to navigate around we'll, we'll have to come in this way to get around that way as well and like I said we, we had a fairly significant fire in that house last year so is anybody being actually directly impacted by that in front of their house by the two changes no no, this uh, this is the uh, Pedler bike shop, and there's a uh, uh, there's no driveway entrance here that would be affected, and it stops at the next property line. So if this house, this property gets developed, it won't affect that. 
And same thing over here. There's no frontage over here anybody. They have it parking on their side of the street. You say there's parking in the front of those two houses or in? Uh, over here? Yeah. Yes. Well, parking all around on both sides, both sides and one side. Yeah. Any questions or comments? You got to mark it. I'm sorry? You're going to have it marked? Make signs? So yeah, oh yeah, the, if, if you, one, once the ordinance is approved, traffic will, will uh, sign and, uh, and possibly sh uh, strike the curbs as well. Okay. Yeah, it'll be clearly marked so that everyone will know, you know, where you can park. Absolutely. Michael, you okay? John? Joy? Mary Jane? I'm okay now. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Thank you. So what I'll do, Kevin, is prepare uh, ordinance, the two changes in ordinance yeah. for introduction for the next council meeting. Okay. Um, you have the packet traffic provided? I have. It gives you the schedule, right? Uh, okay. I have, we two, I have two changes together with a description on each and maps on each. Yep. Mr. Hayes or, yes, or Director Robo, will you be notifying the residents in the area just to give it a heads up that it will be happening or not? No, we don't usually, and it's not really affecting anyone's parking area. I mean, okay. um, we'll put yeah, up the, the signs. The distance of the corner okay. is the state statute, so it's not something okay. that yeah, it's we're adopting. Really it exists to. already. We're just going to delineate it so that people know. Okay. Okay. Uh, our next presentation will be the 2016 budget presentation by Mike Martin. I have a short budget presentation to introduce the 2016 budget. Um, first off, we have requirements that the city has to abide by. We have two different cal calculations that um, <coughs> make up caps. The first is a uh, appropriations cap calculation, which limits how much we can spend overall. And the second is a levy cap calculation, which um, limits how much we could raise in taxes. We are clearly underneath both the appropriation cap and the levy cap calculation uh, per the state requirements. 2016 budget revenues are very similar to 2015. The uh, state aid has remained the same and we were using the same amount of surplus as in 2015. The uh, library taxes went up around $20,000 and generally most of the other revenues are staying similar in size. So Mike, the library tax goes up as a result of the um, requirement, the, state requirement. Uh, the, the value of, no. of the city? No. Well, the library tax went up, uh, yeah. So one third mil. Right, yeah. yes, the value in the, the state dictates that amount though. Right. Well, yes. Uh, and so you have no control of that. Correct. Okay. Um, on the appropriation side, pretty much made up of salaries and wages and other expenses. Um, uh, proportionally a small amount for debt and a uh, real small amount for capital and then reserve for uncollected taxes. Um, the next slide has the departments. Could you could just go back to uh, other expenses? What would that include? Other expenses is um, um, equipment, supplies, uh, maintenance contracts, uh, anything that isn't like pay W2 pay driven, pay through payroll. Well, we went through in a meeting. Uh, okay, that basically. Right, when we had the budget hearings, right. all that was over other expenses. Okay, thank you. And then by department, the breakdown, you can see our biggest uh, expenditures the police department, uh, followed by public works. Insurance is a uh, second place. Um, Debt service, and then we have statutory expenses. Expenditures make up uh, predominance of the budget. Where's the senior center? Or it's not big enough. It's not big enough to okay. make a spot. Sorry. Um, and then we broke it up. You can kind of see out of your whole tax dollar. It's um, similar information in a different presentation. And then the uh, estimated tax rate breakdown on a whole. Um, the largest share is the school budget. 
and followed by the municipality, and the county, and then the library and open space. Um, as usual, the school is the biggest, and then <coughs> secondarily is the municipality. And the uh, average assessment increased on a home in Long Branch uh, from 364708 in 2015 to 413496 in 2016. And the taxes on an average assessed home uh, is only increasing by $162.95 overall, which uh, brings us in for an increase of just under 2% overall. And that includes the county, the school, not just the municipality. All Entire inclusive. Taxes. Estimated, but all inclusive. Right. right. And that's a uh, brief breakdown of the budget. It's like $40 a quarter. Yes. Anybody have Anybody any have questions? Any questions? That's if your house went up that average. Generally, I would refer to this to <coughs> you though, but usually would it rebalance the third go up and third go down the third state of city? Uh, that's the uh, rule of thumb statewide here. Uh, I don't know the exact number for the residential stop. But it was about that, third, a third, and a third? Uh, I don't want to quote percentages without looking at the hard numbers, but some went up. Mm -hmm. That's right, uh, uh, certainly above the, the 13, 14%, and some went down as well less than that so could we say a half of the taxpayers will pay less uh between now and the meeting i'll have that answer thank you you're welcome now the school is saying that they're flatlining or they're not increasing they're, they're decreasing they're decreasing because of the uh the overall rates going down because of the assessment <laughs> going up so what are we looking at we're still looking at that type of an increase that's factored in, yes. That's factored in. Yes. At least factoring in the increase in value times the new rate. You know, if you just sold it as the new rate, the new rate's going to be a little less. But realistically, you're still going to be paying. Do they have any questions for Mike before we move on? What would you translate our increase? to be you gave us that normally it's like a couple of pennies on a on, uh, hundred is what some people are more accustomed to <coughs> um, our increase according to the new rate is around 2.9% 2.9 cents 2.9 cents yeah. on 100 per 100 per Is that in total or just the city? That's the city. Just the city. Just the city. I don't really want to get into detail about it, but is this a new uh, sheet, this user friendly budget section accumulated actions? Like it's not a new sheet. The uh, user friendly budget was introduced last year as a requirement to be submitted with the official state document. Um, last year it was required to be sent down to the state with the adopted budget and this year they're requiring with the introduced budget just so they want it faster i suppose um but no that accumulated absence sheet used to be in the regular state document and now they move that to the user-friendly budget portion of the required pages okay. and this is posted Part. posted with the budget it will be posted yet yeah, i just wrapped up that information today. Any more questions? Mary Jane, any questions? No, I'm okay with it. Joy? John? Michael? Not um, something later. Okay. Uh, let's, thank, you. thank you, Mike. Uh, next topic is oceanfront traffic pattern. Uh, Mayor? Um, I met yesterday was with an order that they were sitting Chuck Shirley, Chubb, Jay, 
and Stan as the representative of Beach Management, and Joy, who is in the um, we went through all different scenarios, and at least in part based what we heard from the public two weeks ago and what we think will work. Um, there is, I don't have my map, I had it all marked up in red. Um, I actually met with someone from Vine Court this morning. Vine Court, is, there's not a unanimous opinion of what they want us to do there. That's about 25 parking spaces. Some of them want it. Cut off, but access. You can't have both. Because it's physically the layout is there. Um, yeah, I want to talk to you about how we notice them. Because yeah, but the fact that the, the owners have this on the bottom court address. Because most of them whatever the on the tax map. Okay. <coughs> um, the Brighton Avenue issue, if we open it up and keep a, I mean, I know you went down there today, I'm going to ask, you, I've talked to my Mary Jane, if you, you never talked to me. No, that's because uh, I am. All right. No, no, you weren't scared. The meeting was yesterday and the idea was I was coming today. Kate happened to talk to Stan. I still got talked talk to about me. <coughs> no, nobody got, actually Joy was there. Nobody was going to be talked to other than Joy until tonight. That's, that's why, please. I, I, you know I would do that. We'll see. Um, the Mike and you are the only two who rose in the meeting. Those two men stand right down. You go down to stand. Just take a look at opening Brighton, get a traffic flow into and out using West End. That preserves all the parking spaces there. The next question would be what do we do with Vine Court heading north um, and then to Bath? Where we open and where we close. The idea would be closed how far north. Then you get to the section in the Pier Village where they're probably, according to where's Jay, it's going to be tough to ever have two-way traffic. Bikes are supposed to go. If you have two-way traffic, you are, it's going to be very narrow. If you have one way, bikes have to go with traffic. So you can't have two-way back traffic. So where are we? Wherever we decide, we're going to keep part of Old Ocean Avenue closed. Right. Possibly opening up in front of Vine Court. Possibly. I think that's going to be tough, but that. Can we have it up here? Sure. Sure. Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. Um, it's got oh, oh, oh. the. The part of my court is out of the pressure on you. You can't do it. You're going to be embarrassed. Mark screwed it up. I got to blame it on somebody. Are we on boardwalk? Pressure, but we're all staring at you. Found <laughs> <laughs> the ocean. That's a good thing. There you go. <laughs> he surfs. That's where that. Sounds good. Where is it? West End. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
they got it out of focus. Yeah. You used to have a curb that ran oh, yeah. out yeah. and down the middle of the road. Right. Down to uh, whatever this one is, Brown yeah. or Bonifort or whatever. And that kept the cars from intermixing with the pedestrians. The pedestrians went on the east side of the curb. And the cars went on the west. So and it was it one way. It was one way one south. Way. We would have to erect something to keep the cars separate from the pedestrians. And it has to be a either the Jersey barrier or present or you know something more. More attractive <coughs> barrier. Yeah. Some some kind of but shoot some kind of safety device to down there. Narrow down this this area here for pedestrian traffic. Right. Um, if you allow the vehicular traffic down here, so it's a. Uh, if we have the one-way traffic from South Bath in the Pier Village, then bikes got to come with the, with the flow. If you have two-way traffic, there's not going to be any room for bikes. So one question is: is where do we cut off traffic? If we do it at South Bath. There's a very there's a pretty good stretch of Old Ocean Avenue that is open for everything. There will simply be no. Uh, no traffic. That's a possibility. Um, it is probably safer for everybody for this to be one way as an exit from Pure Village and a dispersion of traffic. Um, bikes were never going to be banned. I mean, I, I've heard some people get up and we've got emails. <coughs> we're not banning bikes in the ocean front remotely. That was never a discussion here. Um, but the road is not that wide. Um, we don't, you know, we widened the boardwalk and we lost some ground to rocks and engineering issues. Um, I'm a cyclist. I don't go down there in the summer because there's just too many people, and I haven't for years. There's too much traffic and there's too many, too many people. Um, and we're going to have a bound. If we close it here, which we don't think we'll have any access issues, the long latest here, you've got. We two tenths of a mile, of a mile I went yesterday. I think from North Bath to Pavane is two tenths of a mile. Okay. It's like 1,500 feet. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you're, so you can ride a bike the whole way down except that. And what they were talking about is then. And you can actually West ride and still have a loop out. assigned bike take people over to Second Avenue with a bike path or at least bike markers north back to wherever. We were thinking. Uh, I thought we were going to um, put it north. I thought the traffic was going to travel north there. Yeah. No? Yeah. Where? Uh, on old Ocean Avenue. Avenue. It's, it's traveling north, correct? I had. You know what? Northbound. It's two way from going down to. Two way from Pavilion to Pier Village and one way north from. One way north. Okay, I had it wrong. Yeah. Subsequent to the meeting, I haven't had a chance to tell them because they just got back. I had a meeting with the county today, Carl and I, to talk about improvements to Ocean Boulevard for Beachfront North, or I mean Beachfront South projects, the board, board of developer, mm -hmm. where this is your group, because they're before the county plan where they want to work in worse than the We had a discussion with them while we were out there about opportunities for cyclists on the boulevard, on Ocean Avenue, on Second Avenue, how these things could be worked out. No final decisions were made. But they have agreed they've got a lot more, you know, they've got traffic engineers, they've got people that are familiar with the shared bike lanes like they have in, in uh, Bradley Beach and uh, I think Avon now. I, don't have, I also don't have a problem with getting, restoring the shoulders. Well, that was an option that they were they were. I, I don't have a problem with that. You, know, I think it's this, you know, I think all of this is, a, an ex particularly this summer, is an experiment. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, my issues are in no particular order, safety and getting people on and off the beaches, parking. Um, you know, West End, ha West End Avenue has about 40 spaces. Um, we can provide about another 50, which we really don't, we weren't intending to charge for this summer. Um, which I think, this summer is awkward down there maybe for parking, but during the off season, because I also think we, we need to think in terms of what works in the summer may not work in the fall. One of the things people love is driving down to the boardwalk and parking. 
and reading the papers and having a little coffee. Yeah, and sitting in, I mean, I see people at the Allenhurst Boardwalk, which is about 300 yards of that, they park and sit there. Mm -hmm. um, and they do that there. It'll be on the west side of the street, but it'll be right there. Walkers in the morning will love it. Um, well, you, had and, it, you had it between South Bend and North Bend, and we had the spots in there. Yeah. And, and the idea is what we do in the summer doesn't have to be the same thing we do in the winter. So all I'm asking is if Mary Jane and Mike could um, go down there with Sam, look down, but we're not going to change ordinances for this summer. But if you take a look, I don't think, I don't think we have to. We can. Um, and take a look, unless, because we've got to come up with a workable plan. I, I don't see, unless we somehow came up with a way to widen the road, and remove it. I, I don't see a bike path down there. But that, that's not the same thing as banning cyclists, and we're not. Um, it's just, there's gonna be a fairly wide, long stretch of that road that's gonna be closed and open to walkers, runners, mostly cyclists, I suspect, because the walkers and runners will be on the boardwalk. We think. Where are the drop-off points gonna be? End of every street. Um, and then, um, we would, we would arrange it down at the Brighton Avenue, and they said we're gonna have a special down there pretty much round so the clock. South Bend could come up this way. In the past, we came in South Bend and stopped here and dropped off North Bend. You know, the pavilion were all by the... What I should have said is the where you handicapped people. There's handicapped spots <coughs> here. Uh, we Did have anybody try it with the traffic pattern that you have? I'd like to go down in a, a yeah, car and try yeah, it. Yeah, we've got handicapped spots here mm -hmm. on West End, you know, right by the the entrance here. And, it's still and then there's handicapped too. spots in the end of uh, right now. But the idea with the flow going up this way would be, this would be your drop-off point for okay. people, for people, you know, coming down to the beach, drop, drop off mom and, and the kids, and then go up here and park wherever you got to park. And then, you know, Dad would slept back from wherever he parks the car. Because there's only so many spaces here. And they, these are basically taken by 9 o'clock in the morning. Same thing with here. Those, those, are, those are really, every right. time I've looked, they're, they're full at 8 o'clock. People go down to the walk park there, and then I've never seen too many vacant spaces. So we need some sure. clarification on that, uh, on, on the uh, Brighton Avenue to West End Avenue move there. Were you is that are you proposing one lane or two lanes? One there? lane, strictly one. One, one lane. I mean, okay, so not I'm just two, not two lanes going the same direction either. One lane, just one lane. One lane, and then that is what Charlie said too. Yeah, that's not what Charlie said. He said that a drop off, and then another so lane then, going. Well, yes, yeah, but, but they're off. all going in the same way. Right. Yeah, so but you but just gonna have one lane coming in, and then you're gonna pull off. It's two lanes going one way. Well, it's one lane with a drop-off. Like one, one, one lane with a drop-off. Okay, so, we'll so how, how Charlie described it today is somewhere around the curve of Brighton, there would begin to be some sort of separation of the road. So that one lane, the flow of traffic, would go into the so-called drop-off area you're talking about, and then the other lane would be a flow through. I haven't seen one. And then they know. would merge, which... Again, all this I have a problem with. They would merge just prior to the concession stand. Well, this isn't here now. Well, no, no, no. no it, does, it, it doesn't matter. You, matter. you can't the concession get, stand is, is right, but you still beach. can't. You can't get two lanes. That has to become one lane at the concession stand. Oh, I think you can get two lanes. No, Kate, can you? Am I? Tell me if I'm correct. No, so I, Charlie said what he would hope was hoping would happen is people would pull up and drop off, and then there'd be another lane, like if they were getting parking. Right, Stan. Yeah, but the, the other, the other aspect too was we also discussed was instead of doing that because I know you guys didn't like that, there would be a special here. It would be in control, control this area here. There would be a special <coughs> here. There would be some type of ballard or whatever driving into one lane, one lane coming around this way. It would be a drop off area, and the people would be able to go in, drop off, and leave. If you wanted to take that ride, we couldn't stop you, but you would have to wait for everybody to unload and just sit there in the drop-off area and go, and then leave the west side open for walkers and stuff like that. That was another option. Right. So originally, we were talking about two lanes. You guys didn't like it, so it was also could drop back into that. So it would cut back here, one lane here. This flow over here would still be 
oh. available because your concern was when you met over here, the two of them going right. like this and everything get bottled. So we can't do anything like this. Anyway. You know, so. one of my concerns, the north, sorry, this, I keep it in my direction. The south beaches are, I've always considered the local beaches. Mm -hmm. We talked about that. Too. And we can't, years ago we proposed doing something like this on some of the other streets where you'd open it up and it meant a lot of public opposition. So we abandoned that. That's got to be bad. Two years ago we tried that. This is probably the only spot we can do it. Only people, you know, the dorms, they don't really care. Um, it's gets people in and out, dropping off so one person can go park the car. We actually got, I got an interesting email, I don't know if it's going to work, but a woman who, she matches people with parking spaces on their property with people coming down, so maybe we can absorb some more cars. And you've got two entrances to the beach right there, too, yeah. so they could drop off there or they could drop And off if you drop off there, you're a five minute walk to Cottage mm -hmm. or, or a couple other entrances. And also, excuse me, also the, and you'll see when we go down there, the crosswalk now is to the north side. Right. Uh, right. Around the new concession stand, it's almost impossible unless you jump over the wall there or go through the bushes to get across the street where the uh, concession stand is now. So there will be no people right at the concession stand going across the street on the south side. It would all be on the north side where the uh, walkway is. And by then the traffic would be turning off. You don't have a new one, Mr. Wood? No, no. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I think Bill's going to fly it soon. Yeah. I asked him to show me what's been happening yeah. where the concession stand is. Oh, There's no one here. Yeah. It's right on the right side. There we go. There you go. So it's ready. probably that green thing is would be like the drop off. You already have a cutout. Back cut yeah, off. back there where the, the curb cutting is. Yeah. You already have cutouts for drop off. Right, but again, if you have the two <coughs> lanes there, they're all going to merge at that point. If we get it down in one lane with just a drop off point, that you're a little more comfortable with it. And they wait. Mm -hmm. And they yeah, wait. I mean, the, the, the before was you came down now and you came here and then usually they would swing over to this side, drop right. the people off, and then get back in the <coughs> flow of traffic. Mr. Wally, go to the crosswalk, will you, so they can see that, please? Yes, sir. I'm trying to. There it is right there. That's your crosswalk there. Yeah, okay. There is no crosswalk over here. The handicapped spaces are on the north side. The, the meter box is on the north side. Everything's on the north side, so that's where the crosswalk right. comes to the beach. And, and as we find sure. things that don't work, we'll change them. It doesn't make sense to come from the other way. I, I really think this summer is an experiment. It's more dangerous. Right, it makes more sense to come from the right. Um, I think we're just going to see crowds down there like we haven't had before. The cars would be, they wouldn't be in the cross. The crosswalk is here. Right. Bringing the cars down from Allen, they'll intersect with the crosswalk. So, mm -hmm. correct. having it down here, you're keeping it away from the pedestrians, yeah. hopefully. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, the question I have is if it's an experimentation, period for this year and if this is something new to what we've done in the past why don't we keep it the way we had talked about two weeks ago where the experiment would be attempting to keep it all open without any vehicles and we do close and then we do a turn off at West End because if we brought them down West End both ways. We made that two-way street. Yes. We had to take the parking lot on the yes. south side of the street. <coughs> There's not enough traffic width here. Not only that, we allow think... two-way traffic, and we probably would have to make these oh. parallel spaces. Not only that, we think it's a not a very good safety idea to have people coming up, pulling up, Doing backing up while you have people walking across. It's it's not as good as having someone pull up, unload, so, and they can kind of see in front of them. And the whole so time, Stan, now you got people Stan doing. Jay, could you take a look? Could you take a look at this, please? I got it. I, I just went down, and after we were there earlier today, 
just bear with me one, one second. So I, I kind of measured, if you look at Avery, which is two-way parallel parking, right? Um, Jay or Stan? Is this West End or is this Avery? Th this is West End. But, but if, you, if you take note, for example, of 23 feet wide there at the top, so that was very comparable to Avery, which is two-way and has parallel parking on both sides. So my thought is that if we were to make it two-way, and then if we <coughs> opened it up, I mean, we'd have to lose, you'll see there are five spaces at the end, and um, four handicapped on the north side, as well as seven spaces. Move the handicap up, if you're following me there. And then you have a 46 foot width with a 115 foot length from west to east, which I tried today and it was an extremely comfortable just turnaround. Again, I'm not, I'm not exact, but I, just as a comparison, because I know it's one way, I see that there, were, there was a double line down there at one point, but it may not have had the um, diagonal parking as opposed to the parallel parking. So that's where I might, you know, I don't know. But what I did check to see, and again, somebody can confirm it, because I, you know, I didn't do it with a tape measure, but I did it with my foot, which is typically about a foot. Uh, the, 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 the width, between where the parking spaces are on the north and south side of the street at the top of West End was comparable to the two parallel sides on Avery. So, and then I just kind of figured with that, because I know the parking is an issue, that again, yes, you would be losing some spaces there, but on the other hand, you would still have on the north side of the street, four handicap and 16 spaces. You're proposing moving the handicap. I was going to say, is that, that's a problem, isn't it? Right there, <coughs> problematic. The moving handicap halfway down the block well, from the is beach. That what I'm asking. I'm yeah, not, yeah, okay. that is that is what I'm proposing, or I'm throwing out there. And I guess we do need some clarification, which I kind of look, and and according to the state regs, as I see it. It says spaces should be on the shortest accessible route from parking to an accessible entrance. I don't know if that I don't know if that was for traffic or just municipal or whatever. But if that's the case, it still would be the shortest. Uh, I, I don't like. So I, don't know. I, I, I don't know. Based on what we talked about yesterday, because we we asked some of these questions, that turnaround is problematic. You've got people walking. Um, I didn't even. Factored in personally, but if you got people with wheelchairs coming through there, there's just it's a it's not that wide, it's a, and if you got a backup the traffic, it's just gonna get real dicey. Well, again, if you're gonna take a look at it, I, I'll look at it. Now it's that doubles the the distance, doubles forty six feet wide. I'll give it the traffic, but the only thing I'm, I'm pretty sure about is they told me the spaces on the right hand side would have to go because they need you need so. Yeah, so I, much, and, so and much that, width to have. Stan, was, to Stan was talking about that, but again, I, I just wanted to use Avery as a comparison, mm. and it seemed that the distance two way was the same on that road. Yeah, I think Avery is <laughs> parallel on both sides yes, instead of yeah, and I think these are longer. The no, other but but I, what I measured again with my just stepping right. was from parallel to parallel and from diagonal to parallel, and they were pretty much the same distance. When we had this talked two weeks ago, whatever it was, they went back and they looked at this and they told me that they had to get rid of the parking on the right hand side yeah. because it wasn't yeah. enough. For two That's what they, yeah, for, for two weeks. That's what they set up. But we, we can double check. Well, that. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I can hand them this and I can see if this works within their, within hey, their Adam, I guess my only know, concern traffic. was, you're, I mean, you I mean, understand, look, as Stan said, I mean, it's just kind of like a difficult situation. I was just really concerned about that merge at the concession. We can stand. get. Let's. And you've then, been. If if Mary Jane and Mike could go look, we'll try to get a drawing. We'll get something more specific. A drawing. You know, because we'll get an engineer drawing. Yeah, or, or or something close to that. But the the you the, the beach is open Memorial Day, but that's generally not that big a deal unless we get very very. Um, but 
you know, they really kick off with production when you need it. That's, that's really our death. Um, and, and, and we can't do, unless we open up some of the dead ends, which I don't, I think we just, we just meet with too much opposition. Well, I think builders and parking places is going to be problematic with the West End. Yeah, I think so too. That's, that's, that's why my, I don't think, the opening of Vine Court, I think, is a separate issue from this mm -hmm. access. I, I, I believe it is. It is. Because there are well, 20, I mean, in my opinion, the 25 spaces that we would lose for public parking, there are nine. Yeah. And I'm not proposing opening it from Howland to West End, just from uh, Kiernan to Brown, and um, having attractive bollards put there, either bollards or they have cement attractive things that you can separate. Well, it's called share it playing nice in the sandbox. That's no. the sandbox and right. cutting it off and having them. Can you slide it down a bit, Kevin? Yeah. I think I agree. I, you agree I, think, you I think we're at. That's, that's these well, it's if, they, if you it's come down. down street. I know, but if you come these down. These guys grab them and leave their cars there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not. There's, there's there is parking. Other some. Do the end. Yeah, but I mean, I would say half to two thirds of it is grabbed by the people of the room. And they probably need it because they only have one spot. Space. And yeah, they, they get one. You know, my yes. friend lives there, lives on the corner of Howland, so he, he parks one or two cars on Howland, <coughs> and everybody else parks and walks to who comes, comes by him. But if we put those barriers between the outs. What's that? Uh, Kiernan or Bonnefort? Kiernan. Kiernan and Bonnefort. And Bonnefort. And petition like it was before, but just use that but small area. just for area. those three blocks. Right. Two blocks. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Not going into it West, not getting into work. West End. The part of it is, is to see how flexible the people who live there are going to be with it. Um, because if we don't do something, they have no access to it either. And certainly, that's one of the areas you'd say off seat if you if you want to keep as much of the road closed as possible in the summer that's an issue but certainly there's no incentive to do that in safety reasons fire and police and everything else that might, that might well they can they can access the back you know they can access the back and they can get down and park but yeah. if there's something going on that they can't reach from that end and it's on the front end. And then go right across the grass and get in there. All right. Or go over the roadway and get in there. Because it's close to regular vehicle traffic, it's, it's okay. emergency vehicles go up and down that roadway all summer. You'll see a special police car or dog mm -hmm. people or okay. somebody will be up and down. So, I mean, I feel if you had to open up something, I would go along with what Joy said in terms of opening that up somewhere and also if you think about it what you, again i don't know what the situation was parking there but let's suppose you were to lose 12 spaces on west end you're saying you gain 25 on bonnie court 20 i would say 20. No, but 20. he's saying the residents parked there you're well, not thinking I mean, maybe you know, 25. we don't know for sure know. so i'm just saying you know we're talking 20 and picking up the thing but my other concern then is so now we're proposing Opening vine court. Fifteen cars there now. Four, or five. What your car? Okay. So now we're con we're talking about opening up vine court. Uh, in other words, from from Kiernan. Is that where you're thinking about opening it? So now from Kiernan all you the way down to right. No, 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 no. Well, no, I mean there'd be a break. But there'd be a break. Those two spots would be in here to allow them to come in this way, come down here, go in vine court, come out vine court, and, and come go out brown. Out. No, I understand. But the reality is now we are going to be having more vehicle traffic than we've ever had in the past on Ocean Avenue in that area as opposed to no vehicle traffic. That's what I'm hearing. Am well, the vehicle traffic you had before there was. actually went from Howland down here where you see this yellow You can go all the way down. No, no, I understand. Down and west end and out. So but I think the answer to question is, no. is no. It, it's less, and we're, we're going to... We're modifying. We're, mod we're changing it. We can also close as far north as South Bath all the, way, all the rest of it. We're going to close further north than we ever did before, possibly. So I think if we did the uh, bike lane, we went out after, after we left your office. If, if we were going to do the bike lane up and around, we would rather have them come back across on North Bath, Bath because there's a light there. 
Okay. So you might go all the way up to North Bath, just be easier to get the we're, bikes. We're, we're, we're trying to forward now, then what, so I understand what you're saying. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, actually, Stan came up with the idea because we were take, we were we're trying to figure this out because there's yeah. so many different competing interests. I mean, you want to look at it on the map? Is that yeah. Saying? Well, so Stan, Stan what are you proposing now? You proposed yesterday that we north. If, if you wanted to go a little bit further, go to North Bath Avenue. Instead of I mean, keep that right all now you're close to South Bath here. Yeah. He's saying possibly close this. You could go to North Bath because there's no access off of this between North and South Bath that's going to hurt. And then what happens with so South Bath? It just becomes a dead end? Yeah. It becomes a dead end yeah. like Cottage and Avery yeah. and Tilden yeah. and all those. Uh -huh. So you want so to pick up some more stuff? I'm not saying can you, you do can it. Can you go back to, to uh, my court? I don't want to touch the. <laughs> one thing I just have to tell you, I've seen it happen. I, I spoke to John about it today. When they come down this way and they're coming down, as opposed to coming in Brighton. When you're coming down Brighton, everything's right in front of you. You see everything going on, and I've seen this happen. People are coming down this way, they're staring at the ocean, they're staring at the boardwalk, they're making the turn without looking, and they're running, running the kids yeah. and stuff on bicycles. I've seen it happen numerous times. That's my that one concern. Right. What's that? I'm not talking about either or. I mean. Well, either way, I'm just yeah. talking about, when you're talking about this, mm -hmm. It's line of sight, and they're looking straight ahead at the ocean. And the people walking on the board, they're not paying attention to making that. Left, that yeah, but even if we put and look to the left that well, and I've seen kids on bikes and stuff coming this way, and the people when the town was open, even with the even with the, the, even with the, the Jersey barrier, the barriers you had there, whatever, they were going around. So if you're going to have to block it. You're going to have to block it across somehow, right. and it's open. Right. Yeah. You just can't put the That's Jersey barriers that that one way. Sure that that was that was a big concern because. You drive well, along, you're looking straight ahead. Well, this is where we search and get yeah. you some more information. Okay. So, we'll look at this. Okay. And then, you know, yes. if you guys can get down and look at it. You mentioned you were going to have the specials would be there. What are the hours of specials going to be there? Special, that's up to the director. Whenever uh, you're you're have, the Lieutenant uh, Shirley was talking hours? the entire time. Yes, they're, they're, they're there so from 7 in the morning to at least 7 at night. 5 or 10 to 5? No, no, they're there from 7 in the morning to at least... Seven at night, really. Okay. Yeah, and the restaurant, the uh, the guy at the concession stand also wants to stay open a little bit later for dinner or something like that. Okay. So we got, yeah, we have to take that into consideration. <coughs> okay, so, so we'll look forward to hearing from you. Very well. Interesting. So what is the proposal then north of North Bath to Pavilion where those lines are? Go ahead. So north, what, what is the, has the idea from North Bath to Pavilion where we painted the lines? <coughs> North Bath, one side of the street with parking on it. So whatever we, I heard, I heard this three different times when I was thinking that. Okay. <laughs> oh, so the line, the the parking is now going to stay. The parking. So the idea of getting well, that's, everything's up in the air. I'm tr we're trying to figure this out. I went down there Go yesterday ahead. for the first time after you left your office and action got on there for the first time with a vehicle. And when you're on there with a vehicle, there's not a lot of room for another one to go the other way. It is, it's really close. Right, really close. And I'm afraid if we put them on there with the bikes, both ways you know what's going to happen. Someone's going to be riding a bike, and people are going to be trying to go around, trying to go around. And, and I think we're just setting ourselves up for someone to get hurt down there. Either someone's going to get hit by a car and a bike, or they're going to hit each other, you know, because they're going too close. Because you can't have it going one way with the bikes? You can have it going one way. They can ride their bikes from all the way <laughs> down at Brighton, all the way with them, all the way north, right. all the way into. Pier Village. The only section they can't ride south on will be from Pavilion to North Bath. It's about a thousand feet, twelve hundred feet. That's the only section. Jay, I'm sorry. I thought there was some discussion about one way traveling north, going to Pavilion, and getting rid of those parking lines. There is some. There is. Oh, there is. So it's everything. Everything is on the table stuff. So okay. Nothing's after, been designed. After we talked about it last time, we said we talked about having it go both ways. But after going down there yesterday, I don't think that's such a great idea because there's not enough room because we lost some of the road. So people don't, you know, here's the curb and people don't drive right on the curb. They drive three or four feet from the curb. And you have three or four feet from the other curb. So now you're 18 feet, 20 feet, you're like this with each other. Now when people are pulling in there parked right next to the curb because you have to park six inches from the curb once you get there. So it's so it gives you another foot or two for you to be able to maybe get around those bikes when they're going and for you to drive with the bikes and it just gives you another couple of feet that 
Unfortunately, we lost when they did the, you know, when they did the board one. So that's why we think it's it, it's safe for, to only go the one way. So what we said yesterday is that they can drive all the way northbound on their bikes, all the way up to Pro <coughs> Pro Village, you know, even beyond through it, come back. The only problem they're going to have is Pavilion to North Bath, and we were talking about doing a bike route up and around to get them back there. Where What's going to happen in the summer is people are going to buy them a sidewalk, they're going to get off, walk their bikes, or they're probably just going to ride the wrong way if we don't see them. That's going to happen anyway. It's what it is. That's, that's, that's what's going to happen. They can walk their bike yeah. for that quarter Yeah, they can walk their bike, they can, you know. Right. As long as they're walking. Right, they can, they can do that on boardwalk, they can actually ride on the sidewalk when they're not supposed to. That will, that will you know, probably happen. So you're, so you're talking about two-tenths of a mile. And we were going to do a little bike route up maybe to Tens. Second Avenue and then back across at the light at North Bass so they could get back on the ocean. Mm -hmm. That was the idea. Because after actually, after actually um, being down there in the Via Woods, it's, it's pretty tight. If you haven't been down there, and I wasn't until yesterday. I Once really you get down there, right, because I hadn't either because we always walk. So right. We actually moved some of the stuff and we actually went back well, Charlie, and forth Charlie took me down in his vehicle. That's what we did yesterday. Okay. And you know, once it's, we got there, both of us went, this is not as, as big as we thought. I don't think we can do two-way traffic here. And he said the biggest fear is a head-on collision right. car and the bike. Because someone's going to be, you know, trying to get behind the guy on the bike that's going well. Mm -hmm. So I, okay. I, I well, think that's the best okay. solution for now. Okay, we'll look forward to hearing uh, what we have at the next meeting. I took more than 500 safety uh, That's okay. Uh, last thing, review the regular meeting agenda. Anyone have any questions? Michael? Not I. John? Joy? No. Mary Jane? Okay, I need a motion to close the workshop. So moved. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No names. I need a motion to adopt a resolution to go in executive session for the following items. Litigation, Kelly, Lapore, Long Branch Partners, Personnel Matters, Salaries, and Health Department. Second. <coughs> Mr. Vestali? Yes. Mr. Palm? Yes. 